homestedders. So here we are, me and Smokes, beautiful day out here in Southern California. It is Friday, March 5th, and I'm just doing an update on my grow light plants. So it's been so beautiful out here that I've been taking my uh, seedlings that I started under the grow lights inside out in the daytime. And I just wanted to show my success so far. I've had um, some tomatoes, so I planted these tomatoes here uh, with the group back in January 21st. These are red, uh, cherry red tomatoes. They're all doing great. These guys here, these indigo apple tomatoes, I planted a week later on the 27th, and I've transplanted them into their own pots. So these guys are all outside now, day and night. And... Here are my, the rest of my plants. So I'm pretty happy with the success so far. I had some scotch bonnet seeds from a plant I grew last year and they haven't sprouted, but they were in the freezer. So I wasn't expecting them to, to sprout. My Hawaiian chili seeds and these guys right here, or this guy right here is also Hawaiian chili. They haven't sprouted at all which is disappointing. Um, <clears throat> you know, we've been eight weeks into this or whatever, nothing. But everything else, let me turn this one around so you can see the tags on them. Everything else has sprouted really well. So I have some yellow scotch bonnets here, some poblano peppers here, and these poblanos I took uh, from a poblano I got at the store, they grew really, really good. I have some Holland red uh, long red peppers here also. I got those from the store and they're doing really well. These are my red tamarillos and they're doing really good. My, out of my dwarf tamarillos, I got several of them that grew on, on this side and I already thinned it out. Um, so I have three of them that, or four of them, three of them that have grown. This one, none of them sprouted. These blackberry jam plants I planted the same date, January 20th, and they're sprouting now and they look pretty good my bohemian goat peppers which started this whole seed thing for me they all grew and I've, I've thinned all of these out they they all show at a max four per square but there were eight per square in most of them and some of them like my bohemian goat um, these bishop crowns every one of them sprouted and then some of them like the Dwarf Terramio, some of them sprouted and some of them didn't. These guys over here, you can see two of the Blackberry Jam. Two are coming up in that spot. One here, one here. There's two over in this spot. <clears throat> so they're too early for me to thin. But every, all the peppers have already thinned out. And I'm getting ready to top them. Because you can see like on these Brazilian starfish, I have my third set of leaves coming out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pinch them and... Uh, <clears throat> that usually helps make a stockier, bushier pepper plant so they don't get too leggy. Like you can see, these guys are getting pretty tall. Well, they're coming up on my, their third set of leaves, and I'm going to pinch them out and help to branch those guys out. Then I uh, have another couple of groups of tomatoes. Some, what are these guys? Peach tomatoes here, and these are ping pong cherry tomatoes. So the, the to tomatoes go pretty quick compared to the peppers. Then over here I have my orange tamarillo, and they've done really well. So I'm going to have three different types of tamarillos. The orange tamarillo here, red tamarillo here, and the dwarf tamarillo. Everything else is peppers. And then I'm going to have to figure out what to do with the extras because I don't need, you know, 16 different types of tomato in my garden. So I'll contact some friends, people that I know who, who might want them and give them to them but i'm really happy with how things have done inside you can see there's still some purpling on some of my <clears throat> peppers the tomatoes too they're purpling from the indoor grow lights but you get them out in the sun a little bit and they really green up these guys had the same issue but uh, the leaves are really green right now and are looking good so that's it i'm very excited about the uh, progress. I wish my, my um, Hawaiian chili peppers from the Maui Seed Company would sprout. That's the only thing that I didn't get any 
didn't have any success with. Everything else has done really well. And in fairness to the, um, <clears throat> for the Hawaiian chili, they did say it can take up to 12 weeks for them to germinate. So got a few more weeks to go, but so far, no luck. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hello, Hunsteaders. So today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. And here we are at the indoor grow. So I just wanted to show another update on the growth. So this top row here are basically, this middle row is my um, Tamarillo plants. I have my dwarfs here, my orange that I grew from seeds from my, my own plants last year here and here, and the reds that I bought seeds for this year. They're doing really well. Various types of peppers, Holland and Poblano that I got from the store, um, Biquino, Yellow Scotch Bonnet, Seven Pot Chili, Habanero that I grew from seed. And then back here I have some Bishop Crowns, uh, Trinidad, Brazilian Starfish, and then my Bohemian Goats. Look at those guys. They're the reason that I started this indoor grow. But what I'm really excited about, <clears throat> and I've mentioned it before, is my Hawaiian Chili from Maui Seeds. I've got a little sprout right here. And I've got one back here. Look at that little guy right there. Can you see it? And so they're the only ones that haven't sprouted. These guys down here I thinned out too. I left a couple of Bohemian goats together here, a couple of Bacanos, a couple of uh, Poblanos. Um, and I have these tomatoes that I haven't planted yet. But what I'm doing now, because it's sunny out here in Southern California in the daytime, I put them out uh, in the day. But I'm really excited that my Hawaiian chili pepper, at least I'm going to have two of those guys. And I'll save them both. But so far, so good. I think these guys here, another week, I'm just going to pot them up into regular pots and leave them outside with some of the tomatoes that I've already done that with. So, so far, so good. I would say this little indoor grow was a success. These lights worked great. And everything's doing really well. But I am excited about my Hawaiian chili peppers. So, everything that I wanted to grow sprouted. I don't think I had anything that didn't grow at all. Everything, I got at least one or two. And some of them, like the goat peppers, I mean, I ended up thinning these things out. I threw away pulled out and threw away a lot of different peppers. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Right smoke.